What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you in a YouTube video. Here we are in the National Network watching it. It was at Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you in a video. Here is another week goes by. And uh, the sinking ship of Pulse Chain continues, all right? I mean, you could talk all the nonsense all you want about how great it is, right, and, and, uh, how great it is, and, oh my gosh, this, this, and this, and, you know, keep, keep selling everybody, because it's so cheap right now, that I'm gonna buy it, right, all right, that's how, that's how you guys talk, to try to egg each other on, you know, because it's so cheap, it's so cheap, all right, tell everybody to sell it, and I'll buy it, which you, you, we all know you're not buying it. <laughs> you know, it's funny how people always say that, you know. Keep selling because it's so cheap right now. I'm going to buy it. Get out of here, man. I see comments like that. I'm like, get out of here, man. You guys are just complete marks and morons, all right? For even, so we're even saying that because we all know you guys don't buy it, all right? And all the other bullshit lines all the time like, oh, man, you know, it was so cheap, man. I should have bought some at this time. Get out of here. I could have bought some. Well, then you should have. But we all know you're just saying that, right? It's all this lip service. You know, because, um, you know, it's one of those things that I despise, all right, is lip service. For example, all right, case in point, you know, don't say you're going to do something just to say it, all right? And then... You know, you come through, you're, you're, for me, if you say, you better do it. Because don't just make up something and then say it just to make yourself feel good about it. Because I'm going to follow up if you're going to, if you say you're going to do it, all right, cool, then do it. Because <laughs> I'm going to follow up and say, hey, did you do it? And then I hear crickets and I'll be like, what? Oh, okay, so it was just lip service. See, that's, that's, I hate that shit. And that's the whole thing about all you guys in this community is lip service, right? It's a disservice with all the lip service that you guys are doing. Telling each other, marking on each other. And we all know that this shit hasn't come to, to anything anymore, right? Hex is useless. There's really no... You, I mean, yeah, you, you could claim that, oh, yeah, it could be used for gas and whatever, for pulse chain, it's, it could be used for gas. But no one gives a shit, all right? In the long run, no one gives a shit, all right? And uh, let's see here. What is Hex looking at today? So Hex is down 2.3 for the day, for the week. Wow, oh, look at that, down 27% for the week. That's That's big. Oh, wait a second. We're in a bull run, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, if, if the bull, if Bitcoin's up and we're in a bull run, everything should be up, too. But, wait a second. Why is this down 27%? That's as bad as that uh, Yearn Finance. You know? They said that Yearn Finance, there's like 10 major holders. Uh, you know, that are in urine finance that has some huge holdings. So they decided at some point, hey, we want to just uh, cash out. That caused a massive hit on urine finance. Well, it's only a matter of time before Richard Hart himself, he's the, the OP, right? Will decide that uh, he's going to cash out too on you guys, <laughs> that's what it is. One one huge wallet on you guys, and then uh, it'll be all be over. Let's see here. Hex is a very good coin and great store of value, with no value centralized by your master Dicky Hart, the savior. Keep holding it. Uh, need some liquidity for the big player. I call the hex top on the day it, since it have reached. Has all time high. Remember that. So. It'll never be there again. You think Hex will ever get there again? It'll never be there again. Never. 
Oh man, times are just funny. Let me see here. Ah, let's look at this one here. Looks like it's been uh, kind of steady, consistently across there. Flat, right? Flat line for the week. <laughs> That's pretty much is what it is. Um, <laughs> well, it's not a scam. I'll put it yet, but it would be nice to get back to even sometime, maybe even a bit up, right? I mean, you would think, you would hope, but when you're in zero land, right, Satoshi land, well, this area of land, uh, you know, anytime you're under a penny like this, all right, on sats, <laughs> I call it shit, all right, Shitoshi land. Uh, because that's just straight up shit coin values that it'll never climb out of. Okay, cool. It's up 40% of the month. Oh my gosh, you know. But they're still a long ways off to even hitting a penny. But hey, you know, I was wrong before, you know. I was wrong before about hex. I saw it'll never reach a penny. But this is different because pulse chain will never reach a penny. And then you're going to say, well, you know, you got all these projects coming. You know, you got this project and this project. And uh, there's so much potential with with Pulse Chain, you know, because all the hype and stuff that built into it, you know, and everything that's going to come and everybody wants to jump in on this chain. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. You know, it'd be funny if we're still having the same conversation at this time next year. Well, I'm going to say the same thing again. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting once again. And so it's funny how we might have that conversation because it plays well into the cards of what Richard Hart does, right? Everything in twos. I took him two sacrifices and two playboy models and he keeps on saying two weeks two months and two years later well you know what <laughs> maybe uh after two years of launch of it being launched then maybe there's going to be some activity finally going on in this thing but i don't know i don't think people are enthusiastic as it they make it out to be, or they, or they, as they sound, all right? When you think about it, I don't think people are enthusiastic, all right? Only the diehard idiots are, all right? The diehard idiots, you know, the hexagons, whatever, they're the only ones that would be enthusiastic, right? But we've had this talk before, right? That Hexacans is a micro community, right? You know, you have crypto communities of various whatever platforms, crypto, whatever, right? Well, think about Hex, the Hexacans that is, right? That's all about Pulse Chain, Hex and all that. That's just a micro community. You know, that, that is such a, you know, a piss ant community. So small. All right, I, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I reason that, okay, they're small, but yet been able to create billion dollar sacrifice, all right, granted, but at the same time, man, you guys' voices are so small compared to other, you know, crypto communities out there that when this does go away, or crash and burns in some way, or seized, right? Then, you know, it, it's not such a huge loss, right? To the overall crypto community at large. Right? It's just, it'll, it'll just be as a footnote that, oh, you know, this particular uh, crypto chain, you know, died on this particular day because the, either the government took it, or everybody just decided, you know what, we don't care about it. Whatever, right? Whatever excuse they, that there is, it'll just be a footnote in history as just another platform or 
you know, chain that just died, right? Because there's so many different chains, so many different, you know, cryptos out there. It's, it's, this would just be another footnote. That's it. Only, but the only significance is because, oh, it's Richard Hart that, 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 you know, ran this thing. And that's all you got from it. All right. Which is kind of sad, you know. Don't you guys feel like time has been lost? All right. Because, you know, two to three years of all this. And, um, what do you have to show for, right? You know, when you really think about it, two to three years, you could have been out there doing trading, going to other platforms, and all these other different opportunities, right? All I got to say is there has been some lucrative community, you know, not community, <laughs> lucrative opportunities over these last two to three years, right? We were in a bull run. You could have taken advantage of that bull run we were in a bear market which i still believe we are in but you know indications are it's supposed to be going up right and it has gone up since this recent bottom you know that we were in right i think bitcoin's recent bottom was what fifteen thousand or something like that and now bitcoin's back up to like 35 36 which is not is only halfway to the top once again and that's the only true, true cryptos, right? And you could argue Ethereum itself can reach those all-time highs once again because it can. That's the difference. So would you rather go and hold Ethereum, which has real value, right, in the ma in tunes of dollars? Or, you know, go into some you know, copycat fork of Ethereum that they call Pulse Chain, which is really worthless and no one gives a damn about. And would you rather have some of that as a holder? And hopefully you'll ever cash out on that thing because right now you can't. It's worthless. Well, shit, my, my, hat, my bet would be on Ethereum. Simple and easy I mean bar none and I, I bet it correctly because I do have a good a decent amount of Ethereum and if I was to match and I know that the values of Pulse Chain and Ethereum are not the same but how many Pulse Chain tokens or coins do you need to even make a difference in how many dollars you can make. I mean, it's just dead money bouncing around with all you knuckleheads sitting there saying, it's so cheap, it's so cheap, I should have bought some at this price. and Or, or go ahead and, and sell it, guys, because I'll buy it up, which you're not going to buy it up. But yeah, so it's just funny shit like that, you know, it cracks me up. When I see that shit, I hear that shit all the time. And uh, you guys are just a bunch of morons, you know, when you guys egg each other on like that, you know. I should have done this. I should have bought some. You know, and it reminds me of a time when your buddy out there, Tiwi, you know, he was, I forgot what crypto it was. And um, they were talking about it and they were talking about how cheap it was. And, uh, and then, of course, it went up and. He was claiming that he could have bought some more at this price. Like, dude, you weren't even in the mindset of buying it, you moron. So it's shit like that, you know, that I see in the space. But don't don't worry, guys. All right, don't worry. All right, Pulse Chain will never reach the highs of Hex. Is that is that's gonna be sad because all this hype about how great Pulse Chain is supposed to be and going to be will never reach hex levels and hex was just a placeholder in space in this crypto space to get you to pulse chain and that's all it was because hex is worthless and you guys pumped each other up for nothing because pulse chain will never get there like hex was isn't that crazy think about that pulse chain will never be like hex that is sad
something to think about. I'll see you in the next one.